Hi parents of our Gemini babies. This is parental guidance for March, giving you um, monthly insights on how you can better connect with your child. And I wanna thank you so much for joining us. Um, it means so much every time you tune in. Um, we're the first and the only uh, channel on YouTube uh, giving you, um, or the show um, and channel, giving you these monthly insights. So the overall theme that I got for um, your Gemini child is there's this essence of like gaining peace with this newfound level that's upon them. Um, a struggle for believing in themselves, a, str a struggle for like confidence that's vacillating back and forth internally, going inward, outward, inward, outward, um, as far as um, confidence and, and believing in themselves and making forward progression. <clears throat> So for the month of um, March, they have the rabbit card that speaks of power, abundance, heroism, seasons, and cycles of, or a cycle of life. Go ahead and um, pause so you can read that if you haven't already. And so here's this bunny, this rabbit, so cute. Um, you know, they're in this circle. Life is around them. New things, it's almost like they're in underground and things are like growing. They're... It's like they're a bud of a flower that's being like pushed up to expand and to grow. So just to give you a little bit of insight on that card. Um, I, hope I, I hope I'm turning these around the right way in all the videos. So they have this beautiful brilliance card. It's, um, it's just like discovering your sparkle, discovering your shine. Brilliance, when I think of brilliance, I think of brightness. Um you know, all like newness. <clears throat> and the fact that it's in reverse, it's like this, I don't know, like I'm, I know I'm supposed to step out on this newness, but I'm apprehensive or I, I, there's some hesitancy for them to step out this month uh, in their, their power um, that this card talks about, okay? This abundance, this free flowing, this, this, this newness in them. There's some hesitancy. They know it, but it's like difficulty accepting it. They have the selenite green card, um, and the, this was also saying uh, pretty much the same thing. It, it deals their their challenges is healing, uh, tranquil pleasures, daydreams, and imagining. So there there may be a struggle for them to be at peace with this newfound transition that they're in, a struggle with acceptance, like healing, allowing the healing to come in. Um, being at peace with the tranquil pleasures, allowing themselves to just be in, in their fullest capacity with daydreams and imaginings. So the, their mood is, is trust. They're having to trust their inner voice. It says, I will accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly. And so their challenge is trusting into this intuition um, that they have for them to step out on this faith. Um, their, their goal is, is just accepting that they, they are one of a kind. It's a struggle for them. For some reason, they feel like undeserving or they're, they're afraid to stand out for some reason. And that may be a conversation that you can have with your little Gemini on how you can help encourage and support them in that area. Uh, go ahead, pause this video so you can take a moment to read this. Um, but it, essentially, it's just wanting them to, it's encouraging them and telling them they need to step out. They need to walk um, out, walk walk this out. Just take a, a leap of faith. Just just emerge and come into their the fullness of themselves. During the first week of um, March, I'm getting ahead of myself, I almost said April, there's this action. Either it's prompted, either there's like a... Um, an external thing that prompts them to take action or with internally they just feel the need to take creative action or start off in a new direction or just do something. And because they're Gemini's, I almost get that this is obviously it's something that's coming from their head, their thought process, they're feeling prompted mentally to just take a step like, oh, I have this great idea. What if I do this? So you may see something along with something starting, this new emergence, this, uh, this creation, this action um, the, for the first week in March. Secondly, or, or in the second week of March, um, there's some intern, some internalizing. Um, the co-create card in reverse it speaks of working with others um, to do something, and I get the sense that in this regard, they're they're definitely doing something by themselves. They're going inward. I get the sense that this gives them 
some pleasure to be isolated. Um, I don't feel that they are doing too much, although they could find themselves in a position where they are doing too much. That's a possible interpretation of this. But I just get, in the first week, there's some action. In the second week, now they're internalizing it and they're like kind of working it out in their minds. Like, how do I move forward? Or what is this new idea that I have? Like something that they want to do with this new idea and they're wanting to create by themselves. And I feel that there's a level of divinity or um, the spirit is with them while they are creating. So there's peace while they're creating this thing by themselves, okay? In the third week, they have a change in the wind. So this is something, uh, in the third week, there's a sudden, unexpected shift um, that, that could possibly come up for them. Um, I, I get, it, it could have something to do with this dynamic, like they, their idea. So someone says, hey, that's a great idea, let me help you with that. And they're like, oh, I wasn't expecting that, I'm not ready for that, I don't know. You know, so this newness of um, this idea that they have, it, it may catch them off guard when an uh, opportunity is presented to them to share it. Um, but it's just, there's, I don't see that this is a negative change. It's a change that's supporting their growth. But somewhere in this third week, there's definitely a transition, a shift um, that causes them to like, oh, I wasn't ready for that. You know, like it's a, it's an unprepared change, something that catches them off guard, but it, it serves their highest good. Now in the fourth week, they have the thinker in reverse. And I just want to clarify this before I say too much. Okay, yep. So possibly, and this could be connected to the third week. In the fourth week, they could um, be thinking too much. They, they're, they're thinking there's a stagnation in their thoughts. Um, you know, like, it's like I can't move, I can't think, I, I don't know which way to go. Um, the book refers to this as a, an analysis paralysis uh, where they just don't know how they should move forward. Um, but, so this feels like this is a continuation. There's something like in in, um, in April um, will, you know, something else will come into the light on how to um, unresolve this. But it, it just, or to resolve this unresolved matter. But it just feels like this whole month of March is a, can, a setup for April. It's like, it's a, a, a story that will be continued in April. So they're in the state of um, uh, analysis paralysis about an idea or um, a newfound something. So it, it could, if it's an internal change, they're prompted to action, to move forward. They want, they're doing some introspective thing. No, I want to say to myself, I'm still figuring this out. There could be something that pushes them forward before they're ready. And then they're just like, well, I don't, I don't know what to do. I don't, I'm not, I'm not sure if I really want to move forward. So that's just kind of like the, the feeling that I'm getting um, for March for our Gemini children. So what's changing? They have a body change in reverse. So with this, I feel like this is more mental. Um, and also not so much a change, but uh, an assurance in their thoughts. Like they're becoming more confident. Does it make sense? Um, in their mind, in their thoughts, in their belief about themselves. So that's what's changing. It's not, that's how sometimes I interpret the cards. Um, body changes mean something in your body is changing. In reverse, it's like, well, maybe nothing in the body is changing, or it could be the, something in the mind that's changing. And, you know, if it's not changing in the mind, it could be something that is just growing and, um, and like a, a, a so it could be something that's solidifying. So I think this is more so confidence that's growing in assurance um building a foundation of confidence or and I, I just feel like they're they're finally starting to click it's like yeah i i believe in myself now i can do this so i feel that 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 confidence is was is what is going to shift for them in march um how the solution they have reached for the stars in reverse and it says you deserve only the best and this is all you should focus your attention on. And I feel that even though that is true, I feel that it's more of an internal thing. Like it's not reaching externally, it's reaching inward. It's going deeper inwardly. So I feel that the solution is for them to really listen to their intuition, um, you know, trust. Um, but that, that's the sense that I'm getting for them for March is there's the sense of trusting your intuition, going deep within 
um, so that they can grow in this confidence in this level of self-belief. How you can help, you have the relaxed card in reverse. And I, this is the image in the upright where this person is just, you know, chilling. It says breathe, everything is happening exactly as it should be. Um, how you can help, I really feel that you should encourage them and take almost, not a, uh, not persistent like nagging, but just keep at them like how are you doing with this how was this going how you know checking in on them um holding them accountable lovingly uh, while while they're making this this transition checking in with them like how do you feel about this or let's talk about this or where are you with this project or you know i think it it's not for you to take a back seat it's not for you to be lax this month it's for you really to um really like step in and be their cheerleader and encourage them and not push them but just nudge and you know provide opportunities to uh keep them going um with with their ideas and their growth for this month okay encouraging them and their um their confidence and their belief um so for you what you have going on in march is i feel that you may be releasing some secrets or I feel like, I feel freedom for you. I feel like um, maybe you've been holding on to secrets. You know, you got a box of secrets and the key to that is being locked up. Um, you know, I think down here, what does that word say? I have no idea what it looks like. Snow, snowsers, or you can't see it. But it's like all these these words like it I wanted it looks like it wants to say answers or you know something is unraveling so um I really get the sense that like this person in this card is like haha I got something that I know or that you you want to know but you know there's all these these riddles and things that you have to go about um, to get that answer and I feel like maybe in the past you've been more secretive or led people on or let people come to you to get answers and to know more about yourself more so like closed off okay and then this month it could be that one you're tired of doing that you're like f this I'm tired of being the closed off I'm tired of making people work too hard or so hard to get to know me I just want to be free I want to, you know, shut the weight, shut the, what I've been carrying. You may feel the need to tell a secret. And you, it may be too much to bear for you. And that's why you just feel like I got to get this out of my system. But I, regardless of what uh, it surrounds, the situation itself pertains to you uh, getting rid of secrets or releasing secrets or not being so closed off um, this month. Um, you're you're being more open with your yourself. You're being more open with others about yourself. Um, not being so closed off or hiding. Um, it's like I almost get like it. And this was something that popped up. I feel like you could possibly be going through a breakup or you know a divorce or or something. But something is ending. Like maybe you were in a controlling situation where you couldn't share, and now you're like that's done. I'm done with this person. I'm out. I'm going to be free. I'm letting my hair down. I'm getting away from them. I'm tired of the, you know, this routine, this struggle, this lie that I had to live, this rigidness, you know, and now I can just relax and be free and let my hair down. And that's, that's also this that came up because it was coupled with this card. It says, I am committed. Now, when I think of committed, I think of, and go ahead and um, pause that so you can read it real quick. Um, but what I, when I think about committed, I think of um, rigidity. I think of, you know, staying the course, consistency. And the fact that it's in reverse, I just feel like you're like, ah, you know, F consistency. I just feel like a really carefree attitude for whoever this pertains to in, um, you know, the parents of the Gemini babies. Um, whoever this pertains to, you're just like, eh, I'm done with that. You know, I just want to be free. It's March. It's, it's spring is almost here. You know, whatever. So that that's what I'm feeling. Um, just a desire to just cut loose and, and, and cut boxes and boundaries and walls and bricks and whatever, you know, things 
that you've held yourself to, you're, you're releasing that. So I hope this blesses you. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great month and we'll see you again soon.